In this video, I will show you how to use basic alarm data in Easy Builder 5000. To get started, you will need a value or register to monitor. In this instance, I've created a data sampling object, referencing local word zero. For more information on how to create a data sampling object, refer to the training video that covers data sampling. To create an alarm, go to the Objects menu, hover over Alarm, and select Alarm Event Log. To populate your alarm event log, you can create a new alarm or import existing alarm data. If you are importing existing alarm data, it must be in an Excel.xls format. If you click the New button, you will get a pop-up window. In this window, define the category. This is used so you can display certain categories in alarm displays. Next, specify the address type and the read address. The read address is the register that will be monitored. Next, define the condition. Under the Message tab, select the message to display when the alarm condition is met. Then you can define a write value for this alarm. Don't forget, if you have questions about specific fields in a window, click the F1 button. You can then click on any field and it will give you an explanation. When you are finished setting up your alarm event log, click the OK button. Once you have alarm events set up, you can choose to have the alarm events logged in history files that can be saved onto HMI memory, SD card, or USB disk. To do this, check the checkbox you wish to use. After you've created the desired alarms, click the exit button. There are several ways to display your alarm. The first is an alarm bar object. The alarm bar will show alarm information in real time in a scrolling text format. In order to create an alarm bar, under the Objects menu, hover over Alarm and select Alarm Bar. Select the categories to display and format for the alarm bar. Choose a shape and a font and click the OK button. Place the object on the window. Remember, alarms cannot be acknowledged using an alarm bar. Another way to show alarm data is an alarm display object. This object displays alarms in real time, but in a table format. In order to create an alarm display object, go to your objects menu, hover over alarm, and select alarm display. If you want to write a value to a particular register when an alarm is acknowledged, click the enable acknowledge function checkbox. The address defined in this field will be the register that receives the value in the right value from the alarm events log. Under the alarm tab, configure your alarm just like you would an alarm bar. Give it a shape and font and click the OK button. Place the object on the window. The last way to display alarms is the event display object. This can be configured in real time or history mode. It will display all alarms that have been reported and their status in a table format. To create an event display object, go to the Objects menu, hover over Alarm, and select Event Display. Select the mode, either Real Time or History. In Real Time, you'll want to specify a write address. In History mode, you'll specify a History Control address. The history control address is used to display different dates of historical data. For instance, if you want to display yesterday's historical data, write a 1 to this register. If you want to display today's historical data, write a 0 to this register. If you want to enable reading multiple histories, check the Enable Reading Multiple Histories checkbox. If you check this box, the address in the history control address would be the latest date to display and the next consecutive address would hold the earliest date to display. The easiest way to choose which date to display is an option list object. Next, if you would like to enable event management, check the Enable Event Management checkbox. The control address here tells the display which events to display based on the value in this register. Click the Usage button for more detailed information. Under the Event Display tab, you can configure your event display. Once you are ready to place the object, click OK and place it in the window. Now your alarms are configured. 
I'm going to show you an example project in an offline simulation. Here I've created an alarm event sample project. If you increase the temperature, you'll see the alarms be triggered. Here you'll see an alarm bar object. Down below it is an alarm display object. If I lower the temperature back to normal operating temperatures, these alarm events are no longer displayed in these objects. This bit lamp in the top left corner is configured as a notification bit in the alarm log settings. To reset the bit, click the reset button. In the real-time event display, you can see the alarms that have been triggered and their state now. This display will be reset when you restart your project or the day changes. Here using the control address, you can choose which events to display. You can also choose a specific event and delete it. Or you can reset the entire event display altogether. In the historical event display, it shows all the alarm events. You cannot delete these events. You can only delete an entire event log, which would be an entire day's worth of events. Here we have used an option list for the historical control to display multiple dates. Notice how when I scroll down all the dates are of today, June 29th. If I select an earlier date in the historical control, it will then display today's date and any other date that has events logged to it. Now if I change back to today's date, it will only display today's date. And those are the different ways to display alarm data. For more information, visit our website. Under the Support Center tab, you'll find technical notes, sample projects, and a video center to give you an idea of the features we offer and what the Maple Systems HMI can do for you.